Hello, everybody. It's Bob Anderson, and I am trying to use my brand new computer that I have uh, that I just got. By the way, my kidney stones are getting significantly better. Whew. Yeah, that's painful. Like I said before, if any of you have ever had kidney stones, it's not something you want to. Uh, <laughs> it's not something you want to experience. But I'm in the process of. Uh, getting my micro microphone fixed and my camera and all that kind of stuff. But I wanted to at least show you guys the simplicity that so far of this trading indicator. And uh, so like I, I'm going to walk, I'm going to literally going to set one up. This is, this is oil. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just create a, uh, we're just going to create a new chart. Do it right here on the screen. Uh, we're going to create. Let's just do RTY on a one-minute chart. There it is. All right. So here's your RTY one-minute chart. That's it. That's all I got. All right. That is it. <clears throat> and what we're going to do? We're going to go in and load the strategy. And then I've got I've got a template created for RTY. If I go in here and I load that template for the settings, because the settings, of course, are going to be for the one minute, uh, the one minute gold line, the five minute gold line, and the five minute red line. And so, um, and of course, you know, your chart can have a different colored background or whatever. But it, this is just the way it, it comes. Out of the box at this point, and I glance at my settings. I mean, none of these none of these settings have been optimized, but this is just kind of what I have right now for <clears throat> for uh, RTY. And you just hit go, and it calculates, and there it is. So, as you can see, the background in oil is red. The background in RTY is green. Uh, that's because oil is only looking for shorts right now, and RTY is looking for longs right now. Uh, it looks like it already took a trade. As a matter of fact, <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, RTY took a trade. Um, hmm. All right now it's okay it's catching up to what happened it, it, it apparently took a five minute gold line trade um i can't really tell if it's it, it because i'm because i got because i turned the indicator on after it was already into the trade it uh it won't show me it won't show me the stuff. So let me do this. Let me let me turn it off and turn it back on again. Because I think it hit target already. Let me apply. And then let me apply again. And it'll tell me. And it did. Isn't that? Merry Christmas. <laughs> it already hit target. Let's see here. Let's blow this up. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's see here. What did it make? It made uh, six hundred six hundred dollars on an RT. Wow, that's pretty nice. Merry Christmas, huh? Hopefully, you guys got that one in real time. <laughs> Anyways, it uh, this is this is this is kind of how it looks. And these okay. So I'm going to kind of walk you through it. It. Uh, this is this is really cool. So like this, and I'm, I've got to get these lines blown up a little bit so they're a little thicker and stuff. But uh, let's stick with the uh, let's stick with the RTY since it's oil inventory day, anyways. So <clears throat> over here we are. You had your crossover. You know, you had your open at nine thirty. Let me get my crosshairs working here. Where's my crosshairs? Crosshairs. 
All right, so you had your uh, crossover, crossover, and then of course you got to when we we start trading, or at least I have it set up to start trading right now, which is after 9.45, the 9.45 hits. <clears throat> Ironically, I'm gonna tell you something interesting about that. If I had started this thing one minute earlier, it would, it would already had two trades done. <laughs> oh well, oh shoot. Let me go back here. So what do we have? We have a push up to new high, just like we had a new high here, pull back right into the gold line, wham. We had a new high, pull down. Before it touched the gold line, this eclipsed that, candle's too large, roll back, no good. But here's your five minute gold line, which your pull back was below your pivots over here, was, when it was above your pivots over here. Here, this candle was too large the way I have the settings up right now, but this candle consolidated, boom, here's your entry. It ran up, you already went to break even, and your stop trail. I got, I, I have a little trailing system. See how your stop is trailing here? Stop trailed it, boom, hit target, there's your 600 bucks. Now, all the stops and how the trail works and stuff like that are, are all, you can either turn the stops off so that it just goes to break even and goes to target, which by the way is, is really the way uh, I have been using this thing on the five minute red line trade, is just let me get to e break even after X ticks, depending on the indicator. And then, <clears throat> and then let me let the trade ride. And I'll go over in detail why that's the way I've been doing it out of the gate um, later. It has to do with the fact that the market likes to choose sides of the red line and stay there. So, you know, whatnot. Whereas, whereas the five minute gold line and the one minute gold line are momentum trades. Wow. I am, uh, I am, uh, hmm. yeah. So far, it's been really good morning. Uh, you know, because you had your new pivot high over here. Your pullback, boom, gone. New pivot high here. Trade this one never. This one had not touched the gold line yet. It kind of looks like it did. But remember, remember this is why I gotta watch this stuff in real time. I can't really watch it after the fact because then the gold line goes through it. But it really only did that because this pushed up. Um, and then you had your valid trade set up here for your five minute gold line. Your consolidation candle, which is absolutely the most beautiful thing you want to see is that consolidation candle sitting on that. And that's why you got that wham, off it went. So I think I had this thing set on the five minute at, uh, let's see here. How many ticks do I have it set at? Let me go in here and look. I don't remember on the RTY right now. Uh, I got it set at 30 ticks. 30 ticks on the five minute gold line. So for the 20 tickers, you got out, like, you may have even gotten out here. Let's see here. You were in at uh, 58.6. But here's 9.6. And here's 6. You would have been out over here. <clears throat> Anyways, so I'm just kind of showing you how it looks. It's, it's, it's pretty easy to see. Let's see if I can get... Let's see if I can get it to trigger a trade so you can see uh, what I'm talking about. I was kind of hoping this would pull back into the gold line here and, get, and trigger a trade for us because it's off and running right now. I mean, we're going through the, we're going through, uh, oh no, we're, go, we're not, we're not at the highs yet. That's right. Okay. All right. We're not even at the highs yet. We're at a recent high. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is another little cool thing I got in here. See that? See this? See this blue thing here? See this blue thing right here? Might be hard to see in the video. I got that, but that blue thing right there—that's my look back of 60 minutes. Now I've got an adjuster to that that we can set it for 30 minutes, 45 minutes, two hours, whatever. But that's the look back, and that's what it's. That's what. That is what is being seeked, either to the downside or to the upside. 
when you're getting your pullbacks into your one minute or your five minute gold line. Okay, you're 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 seeking that the pivot that went back to these areas came from a candle that either pushed that blue line up or push that blue line down because that blue line is looking back 60 minutes. So for example, what will be happening soon, to give you an example, this is at 934. If, if price stays up to the long side at 1034 or 1035, 1036, at 1036, this blue line will pull up to here. 1037, it'll pull up to here. 1038, it'll pull up to here. See, and it's, it'll pull to the lowest, the lowest, and it'll stay there all the way through. Oh, he's telling me we might have a gold line here. Uh, see, I don't know if you guys heard that <clears throat> over me running my mouth. Um, but anyways, uh, we'll see if it's, we'll see if it takes one here. It'd be nice if it would, because then we'd be two for two, and then I, I would highly recommend shutting it down. It's summertime. I mean, shit, you're already up $600. <laughs> if this trade hits here, <clears throat> uh, it'll be another $400, because I think this is a 20 ticker. It'd be another $400. You'd have 1000 bucks, and it's uh, it'll be like, whatever, 10 15 10 20 whatever it is. Let's see. Hopefully it does that, and then I can make this video short and upload it. Come on, come on, come on, RTY. Let's let's uh, let's make this let's make this happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I tell you, the RTY has been uh, <clears throat> has been pretty dead lately. It just has not been. It has not been. Um, really moving one of the things i'm gonna I, the way this thing works right now is is it's 99 percent complete for for release one of the things i'm going to work on after this is released just so you guys know <clears throat> and it'll come out in a later version is i am going to work on uh even though i got this 60 minute look back thing okay i'm going to I'm going to also work on adding a market expansion test. So what I mean by that is, is even though this thing, even though we may meet all the rules by breaking this up and pulling this back and, and all that kind of stuff, if the market doesn't have expansion, meaning it's kind of hard to ask the market to give you, say, a 20 tick move in oil, if for the last two hours, oil hasn't moved even 50 ticks up or down. It's, you know, it's really hard because <clears throat> what happens is uh, you have a tendency to get caught in, you know, you know, consolidation where you got a top and a bottom and 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 price just kind of stays there and they'll peekaboo it through the top just to get the, the FOMO traders to jump in and they roll it back in. But it, that may cause my indicator here to sit there and say, oh, it's a valid trade, when the reality of it is it's not really because you're trying to get 20 ticks when in the past two hours, let's just say, it hasn't even moved 50 ticks total up and down. You know, it, it, you just, I mean, you'd have to, it's like finding lightning in a bottle for that to work. So, that's one of the things I'm going to work on as an as an add-on to this. And what I plan on having it do is have a setting in there that if none of those, even if the rules are met, the trade's not taken because the market environment is not conducive to the trade working. Even if all these rules are met. Remember, this isn't about, this is not about quantity. It's about quality. Huh. Let me let me just for fun start a new chart. And uh, maybe the NQ. Maybe maybe this will have something. Which 
potential RTY1 goal time off? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. It's telling me, it's telling me we may have, let's, let's stay here. Let's stay here. Let's stay here. It's, let's stay here. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Because it's telling me this because we created a new high again, a new recent high, not, not, not a daily high, a new recent high. So if we can get a nice, if we can get a smooth pullback here, which is now what it's, what it's seeking, what the, what the system is actually seeking is that we have a smooth pullback and we don't break any major pivots to the left on the one minute. And that it sits in the one minute on the one minute gold line, pierces it, and that the candle length is not too long so that when the entry's there, we're not out in limbo land. Those are all the things it's it, it's it's seeking in the background. Uh, along with a few other things. <laughs> but for example, one of the things it does not seek, and this is where you, you know you still have to be involved of course, is it doesn't seek, um, it, 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 it doesn't seek, you know, standard stuff that we always talk about, like, what are the news events for today? So, like, today is Wednesday. At 10 a.m., we had new home sales. Well, and that was, that, and we're already past 10, and that really doesn't mean anything. So, the, so we really don't have any news. And then, of course, with oil, you know, at 10.30, we have oil inventory. Well, this, this, this system doesn't know those things, okay? That's where you should know, are going to know it. Now, I have, an, I have settings in here. Potential RTY1 goal time off. Okay. It's, it's, it's telling me that again. It's trying to give me what it's, what, the way I have this set up, just so you know, is it's trying to give me, it's, it, 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 there's a certain number of, criteria that have to pass for it to tell me that a potential set is, trade is coming. And I'm trying to get it to tell me this at least a minute in advance of the trade so that you have time to look at the chart, see if it's doing what you want for you to execute having this trade take place or not. Okay. I'm already excited because we got one out the gate. Boom. Perfect. I mean, geez. And by the way, look at that. If we if we had trailed these dots on this thing, because this one would have kept us out. That pullback, we'd still been out. Just look at that. We probably wouldn't have got. We probably would have gotten out here. Which, by the way, I have the ability to, to make to do those settings where we just follow it. We probably would have gotten clipped out here. So that would have been instead of thirty ticks, about sixty. About a 60 tick, tick five minute gold line trade. And I don't have the open range break on my chart here, but you can add that on here too. And that would have given you probably a better a better clue that you blew out of the open range because you probably blew out of it. Yeah, you blew out of it right here. So that might have given you more confidence to let it ride a little farther too. Okay, so what's going to happen here? It's going to put a trade on the screen here in a minute, I think, when this candle closes. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I got to get a timer added on to this because this doesn't have a timer on it. That's it. Okay. So there, so there it's telling me uh, that the trade is, is uh, sheep. Hold on here. Let me... Uh, let me, let me change this. There it is. Oh, it's there. Why did it not? I don't know why it didn't show. I don't know why it didn't show. All right, there it is. Okay, now. Now it's sitting on. It's sitting there at the proper spot. Now what's going to happen is this candle here, unless it pushes up, is going to end up closing below that one-minute gold line, and you'll see the trade go away. Now. If when it throws that trade out on this chart, if there's some other incident that you do not like to keep you out of this trade, you can just 
kill it right here. You just kill the trade. Potential CL5, go find oil. Oh, oil's about ready to take a trade too. Uh, let's see if we can figure out where. Right here. Hold on right here. Oh, it's got a ways to go. All right, hold on here. Let me uh, shrink this up. I, I'm kind of. I'm, I'm kind of all over the board here. Hold on, folks. I'm going to pull this back up. All right, let's get back to the important stuff, the RTY. Because this may actually fire. This may fire off the trade. It's getting, it's getting pretty squirrely. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's getting pretty squirrely. But you saw how it followed. And if you just have it turned on as an indicator, too, that's what these, that's what these, that's what these diamonds mean. Here's your entry on this candle. When this candle closed, here's your entry. When this candle closed, potential CL5. Here's your entry when this candle closed, because this still eclipsed the gold line by a tick. So it's following it. It's still following it. This red dot means this is where your stop will be. And this this green dot, which the background's green, so it's kind of hard to see, but some of these colors can be changed. But this is a green circle up here. That's where your target is. So you'll be able to see your target based on how you set it. You'll be able to see where your stop is. You'll be able to see where your, where your target is. Okay? All on the chart. I do not think this is going to trigger. And even if, it, even if it does, I wouldn't be taking it. But I'm going to let it run right now. You're going to say, Bob, why wouldn't you be taking it? <clears throat> I'm not going to be taking it. I would not be taking this trade because the head, the head of this one, the potential CL5, uh, it five. killed it because we're below the gold line. Now, you may say, why wouldn't you have taken it? Well, I wouldn't have taken it because the head of the gold line has, has fallen down. I, and, and that's, that's, a, that's not a, that's a bad, that's a bad sign. Okay. So I wouldn't have been taking it anyways. After, after, after we got past this candle, maybe would have let this one go. But when this candle, now, nah, now. Nah. So anyways, now we're going to roll over. We're going to see, see, we'll see if we get a five-minute gold line. By the way, with the five-minute gold line that worked on this trade right here, of course, the one-minute worked here. It's just we didn't have it on in time. Um, so, I mean, we've got a two-for-two two going on now. Uh, but in reality, we only took one. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's just see. It's telling us here's oil. Now, again, I would not be taking this because we got oil inventory. By the way, I have the on off button here. You can turn off only, turn off your longs, turn off your shorts. You can also turn whatever direction you off or both of them off if you want right here on your chart. So if you're getting ready for news and you don't want to go through the BS of turning your chart trader off and all that stuff, you can just go boom, boom. There you go. Now it won't take any trades. Okay. Until so you get past your period of, of, of news and, uh, you know, and, 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 and whatnot, and the market's kind of calmed back down and you want to take the trades potential, boom, you can turn them back on. That's pretty cool. So, I mean, I, I tried to think of all the things because those of you that have put strategies in Ninja, those of you that have put, uh, I don't know why it's not showing up. Oh. Orders forbidden. All right, so it, it, took, it took the trade. Uh, let's see here. Showing up. I don't know why it's not showing up right this second. But anyway, so it's in your trade right now. Now, <clears throat> again, I wouldn't have taken this trade because we're too close to the oil inventory. I mean, it's it's oil inventory is in just a couple minutes. But I let it, I let it take this trade so we can just kind of see potentially how it plays out. Um so like we'll watch how the stop works, how I've got the stops for it, if if it'll pull up. It may just roll over on us and knock us out. Um, but if it wants to cooperate, 
which uh, at this time, you know, when we're getting ready for him. Okay, so the stop moved up on purpose to the bottom of the pivot of this candle here, which is our which is our trigger candle. It moved up from 10 to here. Okay, I, I have it set to do that because we could we you know if we break the bottom of that trigger candle. It's probably rolling over anyways. So now I'm going to let's see if I can get it to trigger to the next candle, so you can see how I kind of have this set up. It's you can see you can you can tell oil inventory is about ready to happen. The oil is just sitting still. Now. I mean, literally sitting still. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa! We might make some money here, folks. Holy cow! It's Christmas. Now watch this. All right, watch. Come on, come on, baby, run. Don't do that. Don't do that. Now I think uh, I think this I have this one on oil. I have this. Okay, now see see this pulled up to here. See this pulled up one more tick because see this candle got pierced here. So I'm using this candle now as my bottom candle. This is just an automated system that I've, I mean automated trading that I've used to work my way towards break even. Um, which I have on oil set at 10 ticks for this, for this, for the one minute and the five minute, the 30 minute, I can't remember. I mean, the five minute red line, it, it may be, it may be 15 or so ticks. I can't remember. But anyways, let's see, let's see if we can get this thing to move. Come on. Cause I, I want it to, by the way, where's my crosshair? I'm going to show you something else too. Watch this. This is cool. So this is our entry here at 28, right? So when we get to here, that's what this gold line is. That's when this thing's automatically going to break even. Now it moved up again because this candle here got pierced through the top of this candle by the candle to the right of it. So the stop moved below this candle. Oh, this is great. This is great how this is laying out. So you can see how I'm walking the stop closer and closer to <clears throat> my intentional, my my ultimate goal of at least break even. This is actually, this is actually beautiful, what's going on right here. Even though it's oil inventory here in a, in, in, in a, in a few minutes, so I, we wouldn't be taking this trade, but at least we are getting to see how it plays out. Um, the way the stops are working, you know, and, and keep in mind, you have the ability to move all these things. So, like, for some reason, if you see some area that you think it may go to or whatever, which, you know, I'll talk about some more down the road, but you can move that. You know what I mean? So, you know, and you can even move your stop. You can even move your own stop. If you want to throw it at break even right now, you can go right ahead. It's not going to, it's not going to, move it somewhere else because you because you did that now this is going to be great watch this watch when this candle closes because we pierced <clears throat> this candle here watch this if i had my timer on here we would know you know we'd have a better idea when to watch it but just just watch for a second come on close close please Close. Close. There you go. See how that squeezed it again? Because it's now it's one tick below that one. It's squeezing it. It's these dots are following it up. That's one of the things I talk about when I say I I try, I do as much as I can not to take 10 tick stops on 10 tick inch 10 tick stop instruments. And so I'm trying to code it in to do that. Now this thing's going to get real squirrely because we are, we are literally three minutes from, from the inventory report. Uh, if this would go up, um, like I said, up to here, this would automatically go to break even, and we'd have a, a no loss trade at that point, basically. Just you know, unless we get some slippage, and we're probably going to get stopped out. Maybe. Yeah. 
some reason, some reason I got, I got, uh, I got cut off. I, I don't, I put, I pushed the wrong button somewhere or whatever. And so anyways, this thing just talked to me that RTY has got a potential trade. So let's go look at it. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be good. Well, it'll be close. It'll be close because this is going to be our pivot here. Uh, this is going to be our pivot here. So anyways, I think so far I've kind of given you guys a really good idea of how this thing's going to work or that we're, that we are, uh, <laughs> that, you know, that we're trying to make it work. Um, if, if, if anything, it, it highlights the trades for you to make your own decisions if you want to make your own decisions and or it'll you know make the decisions for you um with your with your guidance of course because you need to you need to make sure you know that you're not trading during news that you're not you know i don't know getting into a trade that you just don't feel comfortable with or that maybe the volume just doesn't seem to be there, um, especially these five-minute gold lines and these one-minute gold line trades. You know, those 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 two trades in, in particular, those two trades in particular require, require some, some market volatility. More than the red line. So here we are on a five minute gold line. And I just thought of something that I need to tell you guys. So you might be sitting there going, but Bob, my five minute gold line doesn't look like this. And you know why it doesn't look like this? Because this is a real five minute gold line. This is the actual five minute gold line that a five minute trader is looking at as price changes. Well, when does price change on a, I mean, not price, as, as the candles change? When does, when do the candles change for a five minute trader? They, tra they change when a new five minute candle opens. So this five minute candle opened because this was 1030 even, and that went through this and therefore it triggered for trade even though this had not touched the line yet it's uh yeah yeah this is this is really, that's why <clears throat> and, and and this is all this is all sitting on a one minute chart even this is not even a five minute chart so it looks like we're gonna get stopped out it looks like it <clears throat> yep we got stopped out I wasn't a big fan of this trade. <clears throat> and, it, 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 and, and the reason I wasn't a big fan of it because it rolled up and came back. And it didn't, but it didn't break this pivot in the process. So it was still saying it was a trade. I'm not a big fan of that trade. I let it run through so we could see it, but I wouldn't have taken that trade. So anyways, it keeps a running total. You lost 200 bucks, so you're at $400 for so far because we missed this one minute gold line trade over here a couple of other things that this thing is doing at the same time see this white line right here see this white line right here that's a measurement from the one minute gold line to the bottom of this candle and i have a, i have settings as to the gap between the gold line and the one minute like like the one minute gold line and the candle to create what I call space so that your touches are, you know, like th this was not a touch yet. Here's your touch one, you know, blah, blah, blah. Touch two, same thing with your red line and your gold line. See this red, li red line right here? It exceeded, it had touched the red line here. It exceeded the spacing that I require 
for it to come back now. And when it comes back down to this red line, it'll be touch number three or, or, or two or whatever, whatever it is. Um, it keeps track of all that for you. As a matter of fact, it'll end up being, because this crossed over here, this was touch one. So then, so now that this red line, see this red line was here, kind of hard to see, but this, see this, it met the requirement that the next time it touches here, it's going to be touch one. And then when it created that space again, the next time it touches this red line, that's going to be two. And so on and so on and so on. Same thing with your five minute gold line. There's five minute gold line touches being counted in here. Uh, it kind of, it's probably, as a matter of fact, I'm sure it's right inside the same red line right, right here. Uh, because they both, because this big candle here cleared both of these by quite a bit. So then, so this would have been like, say, touch one on the five minute gold line. This would be touch two on the five minute gold line. So if this thing creates this space, and comes back down to this five minute gold line, it will not trigger a trade because you're on touch number three. See how that works? Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, I made this video too long, but I wanted to show it to you guys so you can kind of see it in action. And again, if I was trading this, I would not have taken this trade. Why? Well, this was our high. Okay, this was our pivot. This was our, this was this, but we did not break that pivot. So it met the rules, but it didn't meet my liking. And it's hard to remove everything that meets my liking per se, because um, then you just start eliminating all the trades. And that kind of goes back to the flaws of backtesting, too. What are some of the flaws with backtesting? I'll give you some huge flaws with backtesting, if all of you want to know. And this is part of the, the, the system I'm going to put in place. Part of the big flaw with backtesting is seasonality of pricing. I mean, 20 tick targets on oil is a nice thing to get off of a one-minute gold line. But like right now, you're lucky if you get 10 ticks. I mean, it's just the seasonality of the market. So um, so what does that mean? It means you got to change your stops, you got to change your targets, and you got to adjust for the season. You may sit there and run 30 tick targets, for example, on your, on your one minute gold lines in oil in October, and it worked like a, like a, like a charm. But if you go use that in July, you're going to say, oh, oil doesn't work. Oil's terrible. I lose all my money. No, no, you're just, you're, ex you're asking more from it than it can give at certain times in the year. Now, with those 30 tick targets, the oil's more volatile too. That's where you can, that's where you can offset the size of your stops. But if you're using a 10 tick target, for example, on oil, you probably need to use a five tick stop. And, and oil's going to be less volatile when it does a 10 tick target trade. Okay? Anyways, the landscapers just got here, so my, my house is about to get really noisy. Talk to you later. Just a quick update. Uh, we did have a one minute gold line trade set up, we had a crossover. So the five minute gold line is going to recount. Also, here's your space for your five minute gold line. Start account, didn't touch, didn't touch, roll up, new, new recent, new recent 60 minute high, smooth pullback, 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 boom, and gone. Potential RTY one gold line off. Oh, shoot, it's telling me about another one. Hold on here. Maybe we got another one. Black candle because we're too far away, came down, pullback, gone. Uh, and and we got three hundred eighty dollars. I must have put my target in the wrong spot. I did put my target in the wrong spot. My target was way up here. I pulled it down. So we're at seven hundred eighty dollars. So there you are. Eleven o'clock. Seven hundred eighty bucks. RTY. 
I would highly recommend it being August 23rd. You can call it a day. But I don't know. Let's just let's well, while we're sitting here, what the heck? <clears throat> we'll see if this thing it's kind of hard to see because I got the little I got this little thing here. Now we're touching the goal line. Now we're touching the one minute goal line. So this is test, this was test one. What is the This is test two. We didn't get the space between the bottom of this and this to count this as one. Hmm. All right. Well, that's what back test is for. Now we're in. We can't. We can't. We can't look back now. <laughs> now we're in. Uh, so let's see here. My start. My start was ninety-one. So. 7001, 7101 is 22. So let's go to 7101. And let's just see if we get there. <clears throat> doesn't look like we're going to. Nope. Doesn't look like we're going to. Doesn't look like we're going to. Well, let's see. Man. Hey, come on. Come on. Don't be such a pain. All right, well. Man. Come on, RTY. Come on. Cooperate. That's what happens when you get greedy. You're taking your profit. <laughs> You're taking your profit. Come on. Well, excuse me. It's still thinking. Not looking good, in my opinion. If I'm manually trading, I've already closed this out. But I'm gonna let this I'm gonna let this auto trader run. People messaging me. Come on. Message you need for them for me to call them. Come on, hurry up. I gotta make a phone call. Come on, RTY. I'm trying to let the auto trader do the trading instead of me. <clears throat> Which, by the way, is one of the benefits of a system like this, is to take the mental part out of it. Keep you from averaging in on losses. Keep you from, you know, moving your stock in the wrong places or too far away trying to make a trade win that was a loss and stuff like that. That's that's one of the benefits for for darn sure. That's one of the benefits uh, is to try to take the emotion out of the trades. I mean, how many of you? How many of you realize? I mean, I know you guys all know this, but I mean, my biggest that's my biggest struggle in trading. It's not seeing the trades. It's keeping the emotion out of the trades so that uh, so that I don't get, you know, so I don't do something stupid and blow up, you know, three weeks worth of profits or something stupid like that. All right, come on. Well, stop's moving up. That's the good news. We're hitting the daily high or the, no, 60-minute high. All right, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. Go to break even so I can just end the video and, and uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I 
I'm trying to let it do it instead of me. Come on. Come on, RTY. Boy, summer trading is brutal. Summer trading is just so brutal. Normal trading, this would have taken off. Non, non summer trading, this just would have taken off when it rolled up through the high. Yep. Come on. Come on. You gonna take me out? You know it. You gonna go up? Are you gonna go up? Well, it might go up. <clears throat> Come on. Hurry up. Video's getting too long. Come on. One or the other. There we go. All right. So there we go. Now, what it did is it squeezed us. We got an $80 loss, $700 on the day. There you go. Life is good. 700 bucks. Talk to you guys later. Bye.